4 p.m. Tuesday, November 16th here in Utah. Kind of reminds me of the Bear Stearns video I made uh, like uh, three years ago when Bear Stearns uh, calmly announced that they lost a billion dollars in one of their funds. Subsequently, billions and billions more of losses were announced and Bear Stearns went from 140 a share to two or three. Anyway, so here's what's going on. I get kind of bored, frankly, with this financial crisis because it's so predictable, but a lot of stuff is escalating and a lot of people don't see it. Of course, long time NMOT viewers, like especially ones that watch the first videos, it's like, okay, it's been predicted, but uh, here's the big number today, okay? 33 million, 33 million. I happen to have a chance today. I've been pretty, pretty ultra busy and uh, CNBC, Diane Olick, all of a sudden 33 million mortgages under investigation. That's a lot of mortgages. And so I kind of listened and I kind of had to search around and I found it on CNBC. So there's a government panel, U.S. government panel put together, and they just issued a 125-page report. And in that, they talk about a worst-case scenario. Now, when I analyze things, I like to use a decision tree and look at worst-case scenario, semi-worst-case scenario, middle-of-the-road scenario, rosy scenario, and then I pick the most real one and assign it a probability. Um, my ultra-bearishness, I think, comes from... <laughs> I get accused of being arrogant, but frankly, a comprehensive comprehension of the financial markets. So uh, anyway, the worst case scenario, about 33 million mortgages being called into question and reviewed by the U.S. government. This is the opposite of laissez-faire. This is not free market, but uh, that would be huge. And so the brunt of the losses would be from B of A, uh, Audi Financial, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, other big, huge banks. It talks about, I can't believe it, calling into question the validity of 33 million mortgage loans, uh, ones that were secure, securitized and sold to investors, and the banks could face billions of unexpected losses. I'm sorry, it's just like so fulfilling of what's, you know, what I saw a few years ago. It just, it's, here it is. Uh, the panel's created overseeing 700 billion in bank rescue approved. Banks could end up losing $52 billion from so-called mortgage putbacks. I don't know how much trust you have in our government, but to have our government go over all these loans and determine what's right and wrong, uh, that's the problem. The government's way too big. It's absolute insanity. It should be laissez-faire. There should have never been a bailout. When somebody signed that loan, they should have done it. People will ask, is it, is it ethical to put people into debt and do mortgages? Well... I chose not to do a single mortgage and go into that business um, because I knew it was coming. You know, when Alan was lowering Greenspan's, Greenspan was lowering real interest rates essentially to zero, and uh, and then you know people. I mean, these no doc loans in the early parts of, of this uh, millennium, early parts of the century, it was insanity. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. A no doc loan or stated income. And all these people are making tons of money, money originating, originating loans, and people are selling them off. It's like, you know what? Anybody that bought those loans should have had to, should bear the brunt of those losses. That's insanity. You know, you're buying no doc loans. That's the responsibility of the European Bank. Whoever, whoever bought that securitized loan, it's their responsibility. They took the risk. It's completely unethical for the United States and a taxpayer to bail out. These billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars of bad loans. So, as I predicted in 2007, and I saw it coming in the, you know, it, it was, I mean, it was just insanity. 2002, 3, 4, 5, all these people were making money. People, like, had no idea. They're just buying and selling, turning, spending, buying, telling, turning, spending, you know, overstating income, overstating um, appraisals. It was insanity. And so, now it's all coming home to roost, and, of course, the system's collapsing. And, uh, okay, but 33 million mortgages, worst case scenario. Well, we are going to have the worst case scenario, so keep watching for that. I, I got to do a video on the Irish crisis and bond market and gold, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But for now, remember that 33 million mortgages could be under investigation by our trusted U.S. government and the AGs and the states and all that kind of stuff. Not good. No bueno. Ciao.